Retro PC Durham, Chris here with this Dell laptop, this very big Dell laptop. Um, I upgraded this uh, machine uh, and I wanted to show it off um, before I move it on to uh, to a new owner. So um, this is a Dell Precision laptop. I think at 6500, we'll take a look and confirm that for a second here, but let's just quickly take a look at big guy here on the back of the unit here there's a power connector on the rear of the unit there's a docking connector available for this and then the battery which still holds a charge on this side oh man we've got uh, two USB ports and we've got a VGA out a display port out Ethernet Express card and a manual toggle for Wi-Fi on the front, we just have the clip that releases the screen. And then on this side, we've got another express card slot, a DVD RAM drive, an SD card slot, two USB 3 ports, audio ports, and then a FireWire connector. So it's a little bit dates itself because it's still a FireWire. And then we open it up here. We've got our expansive 17 inch screen and our big full size keyboard with number keys. It's got a touchpad and a track point. So basically all you could ask for, pretty much a desktop replacement. And this is a Dell Precision M6500. Um, we can hit the power button here and we'll load up into Windows. And the system will take a moment to initialize. And then we'll boot up into Windows. There we go. I'm going to reposition the camera here uh, just to get a little bit closer to the screen. Here's our specs uh, running off of Hardware Info 64. So this is an Intel Core i7 740QM processor. That's a four core, eight threaded processor running at 1.7 gigahertz. And it's got a boost clock of up to 2.9 gigahertz. So pretty decent still for today's standards. Um, that it can be able to do stuff. It doesn't have some of the latest instruction sets like AVX, um, but other than that, it's a pretty a pretty decent spec. Uh, 240 gig SSD in here, and then that uh, um, HLDT DVD rewritable drive that's in there. For graphics, we have an, int um, uh, an NVIDIA Quadro FX 2800M, which has got one gig of RAM. And then we've got a pair of four gig sticks for a total of eight gig of RAM in dual channel running in this system. And then we, of course, I've installed Windows 11 on this uh, to have a little bit more of an up-to-date OS. And I use the standard bypass method uh, to, uh, to get that installed on the system to bypass the hardware um, restrictions that Windows 11 normally has. I ran Cinebench R20 a couple of times to see the score here. And I got a 569 um, on this processor which isn't great uh, comparing to another mobile processor on here, the i7-6700HQ got a 1647, so it's about a third of that performance. But running uh, most of the time at that 1.7 gigahertz, it's okay considering that's the frequency that it was going to go after it you know, cooled down from boosting. So the performance is okay on this uh, when it comes to uh, you know being an 8-threaded uh, capable machine. So that will finish my look here at this Dell Precision M6500 laptop, a big beasty thing um, that I think still has some capabilities. It doesn't have to go uh, to the scrap pile just yet. Maybe it can have one more life um, before it's ready to say, uh, to say goodnight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, help us out uh, with growing the channel. As always, I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and we'll catch you in the next one.